Okay, go. Okay, cool. So, um, we're going to take two red. Let's start over. Okay. Okay. Okay, so now we're going to take the battery packs and solder on little ends that are going to be easy to stick into the Arduino. Or the breadboard. Both. Both. Cool. Why okay. not both? <laughs> so for that, we're going to need the 9 volt battery pack the AA battery pack, two um, black wires, and two red wires. Um, and we need a soldering iron, which is very hot. And the wire strippers? And the wire strippers as well. So um, you're going to take off the electrical tape from the ends of the wires. And so like this red one has not been stripped, so it's very, very short. And so we're just going to strip off some more of that so we have something better to wrap around the other wire. Maybe a little bit longer than that. Like double. Okay, that one's the right size. I was a little nervous. I was taking off some of the wire. Alright, so this is stranded wire. So there's a lot of little strands. Can you see that? Mm, kind of okay. blurry. Well, this is stranded wire. So we're going to wrap this around as best as we can. Oh, yeah. So because one of them is solid core and the other one is stranded, the wrapping will be uneven because one of them is a lot harder to wrap than the other. Mm. But do your best. Oh, nice. That didn't quite work. You want the other one? The other wires? Yeah. Maybe. Um. Okay. Eh, that's fine. Okay. This is really difficult. Yeah. Hmm? Yeah. I don't have a solution to that. It's just difficult. You can strip a whole lot and then wrap it really tight when you do wrap it. Yeah. It's like nigh impossible. It doesn't have to wrap all the way to the end. Oh, but it should not go on the sheath. I wrapped it back. Okay. All right. There we go. It's a clump of wires. <laughs> For the next one, just strip it a lot more. Okay. Strip that, that a lot more. Yeah. What? I just took off some of the. What about this? Should I strip this more? Um, no, because the solid core wire is hard to wrap anyway. You can also just use the helping hands and lay them across each other. You don't really need to do the lineman splice since it's so tiny. What? I just um, took some of that um, coating off. Oops. We're wrapping the stranded wire. Solid wire is pretty easy. The reverse is not true. Yeah. Whatever 
attention, not so bad. Good. Cool. All right. Let the soldering begin. All right. So now we have these pieces wrapped around each other pretty nicely. And we can put them in these helping hands optionally just to stabilize it. Where are you, solder? There we go. wire done. I'm going to do the same with the other. Ah, disaster. There's not a lot of space, so I didn't really do good. Thing where the heat travels up the wire, but it mm. appears to have worked. Okay. Yeah. Oh, it's fine. So, is there an angle at which you can see these solder joints? Maybe. Put them flat on the ground. And then maybe it'll go in focus. Yay, there it goes. Cool. Cool. And then cover with electrical tape. Red for the red wires, black for the black wires, scissors for the scissor wires, and by scissor wires I mean cutting the electrical tape. More than that, because you need to wrap it around. Yeah. And it's pretty small. That's true. Also, that wire is pretty fat. I mean, that tape is pretty fat. So what she's doing there is she's wrapping the sticky part back on itself a little bit so that that part holds really well. And then she's going to wrap the rest of it. Because she's a pro. Ideally, we would have heat treatment. Oh, and also she's starting before and ending after the solder joint, which I mentioned in that other video, but might as well say it now since we're just chilling. Yay! Looks good. Cool. Those are covered now. Cool. Should we do this separately? Sure. Um, I'll stop the video.